Joshua Thino, also known as uh, Ninja of Sorts. And uh, this is our reintroduction into Power Up, uh, morning coffee and good conversation while playing video games to power up for the day, week, month, and year. So I have a guest with me, the first guest in the new Power Up. This is uh, Brandon Johannes. Uh, you want to tell me a little bit about yourself, Brandon? Sure. I'm the president of the Leavenworth Lansing Area Chamber of Commerce. Uh, you, of course, are one of my members. And uh, just as a quick aside, I'd like to thank you for being one of my members because with the Chamber of Commerce being a not-for-profit, it would not exist and it would not function were it not for the dues. I've been the president of the Chamber of Commerce <clears throat> for just over three years. Uh, I am an avid gamer. Yes. Certainly. Not talented. I'm not, I'm not claiming talent. Oh, well, that's actually where we uh, started a uh, a slightly more than business, you know, now we're we're gaming uh, gaming uh, acquaintances, mm -hmm. and this is the first time I invited you over for gaming, and I wanted to do it on my web show. Yeah. So, there we are. Um, so, we are going to uh, tell, uh, if you'd like to tell the story about your uh, fiancé with Tetris <laughs> as we get started. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well... You want me to go ahead and start uh, yeah, embarrassing myself? Yes. On on my first date with my fiance, we went to a great um, video game restaurant bar over at Zona Rosa. It's it's known as Draftcade. Um, Draftcade. I've, I've been there. There's a couple of those places, like uh, the up down uh, the up down downtown. The norm, I think, of modern dating practices. We agreed to meet for lunch the very next day. And we went to the Draftcade. And the first game we played was Tetris. And, I mean, that in and of itself... Oh, heck. That in, that in and of itself, you know, hey, cool, you're playing Tetris. But I knew this was going to be someone special to me when we were playing Tetris and she was... Um, she immediately started trash talking. There, there, was no, there was no hesitation. There was no lag. She started trash talking right away in, in playing Tetris. In fact, the reason I think she started trash talking is I was winning. <laughs> and and because I was, I legitimately was. And then I will not lie to you, the minute she started trash talking, I was so taken uh, by that that I immediately started screwing up and she started winning. Uh, it, it, uh, it was uh, it was kind of funny. But uh, yeah, that's that's why I requested Tetris. That's a special. Special place in my uh, in my life. Okay. You're the Chamber of Commerce president. Yes. Uh, what exactly does that entail? Well, to describe what it entails, I'll first just really briefly uh, explain what a Chamber of Commerce does. Thank you. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce is an association. As I said earlier, it's a it's a five hundred one c six not for profit organization. Which um, uh, I'm sure that's the tax bracket for it. Yes. But I don't know exactly what that means without right. asking my mother. She's exactly. a small business accountant. <laughs> what what that means is, uh, if you look, and I actually have because I'm I'm a bit of a nerd. Uh, if you actually look at the tax code, uh, the five hundred one c six designation is for. Uh, essentially, uh, associations or cooperatives that work together to promote um, a community, or in our instance, businesses and other organizations in a community. So it's a, a collective, so to speak. Uh, for all the Star Trek fans out there, I, yeah, no, I'm we, like, we assimilate you. Yes, that's, I was going to totally make a board reference. Hey, same way with me. I have You have your viewers, I have my chamber members. But uh, So the Chamber of Commerce, any Chamber of Commerce... In present in present day, it's not just about businesses. There would have been a point in time where really it was just about promoting business in the community. Um, but any individual or, or business or organization that has what I call a legitimate interest in an area or in a community is welcome to join the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, my members uh, consist of businesses, nonprofits, charities, churches, government, individuals, uh, you name it. Uh, and they, because they all have a legitimate interest in our community, they are welcome to join and participate. The Chamber of Commerce does exist to promote the community. The way in which we promote the community, the mode, if you will, or the medium that we use, is we promote the community through our members. 
Okay, because understand that uh, I am a small business owner. When I say small business, I mean this at the highest of level. I am tiny. Uh, I'm a single person doing uh, magic for the community, uh, for whatever, you know, I... I'm not a not-for-profit, but I'm not too far off <laughs> um, <laughs> under the premise that I'm doing this because I love it and because I think it helps people. It And if I may say, you're also very good at it. I appreciate that. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to have a, a morning show dedicated to helping people in a gaming community, in whatever community I can. I'm a speedrunner. I'm a professional speedrunner. I did SGDQ this last year. Um, and... With this diagnosis, now video games are under fire again. And I wanted to prove uh, a small little thing that video games can help. I have a really fun story about a, a guy named Mr. Damage. Um, when I went and did my speedrun for uh, SGDQ, at the very end I went, Hey, to me this is as good as therapy, and if my therapist is watching, I'll see you on Tuesday. Um, because I'm a PTSD, uh, a veteran with PTSD. And when I got home, I received an email from a person who had subscribed or had uh, followed me while I was at GDQ, and he lives somewhere in um, Colorado. And he was like, "Thank you, I really needed that because I'm a, I have PTSD. I'm a veteran, and I've been told it's not therapeutic. You know, all of this still branches into said community, but um, the community as a whole. What I intend on doing with this channel." Uh, is to hopefully get a bunch more guests. I did talk to a couple of people about this, and we'll see what happens. Oh, good. But, uh, you know, like, uh, was it Trish from the film festival? Oh, yeah, yeah, Tisha, Tisha. I knew I was close, and I'm really bad with names. I think she will enjoy it, actually. She, she actually seemed uh, interested, because she at least played games as a kid. She told me she played Diablo, which I have a copy of, but it's really difficult to get on the computer, because the original Diablo doesn't like to, uh to go reverse compatibility mode, and it will take me longer to get it running than the game actually takes. Uh, but, you know, I'd love to sit and chat movies and how well they uh, they bring people together and all of that jazz. For our community, we need those sorts of things. I mean, if you want to have a prosperous community in the long term, you have to be ready, willing, and able to reinvent yourself from time to time. You have to be open, you have to be flexible. It gives me a chance to chat with people and and talk about community and uh, hopefully make the world a better place eventually. Absolutely, and that's that's what I that's what I tell people I get up to do every morning, is I get up to try to, I, I intend to uh, leave, the, leave the world in a better place than I found it. That is, my, that is my goal. So when people ask me, what is it you want to do? Or when people were asking me when I was in college, I'm not sure what I want to do because I want to just, I want to help people. That's, that's my passion is, 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 is helping people. And in my job, I get to help my whole community. Um, what I think it is, is uh, on my end of things, I need to feel like uh, I am making a difference. Yeah, yeah, not, absolutely. Not absolutely. even so much helping people as making a difference sure. because... Um, because making a difference to me means, hey, it gives me that, oh, look at what I'm doing for my community, country, uh, world, or, uh, inter uh, or intergalactic sure. feeling that I like. Sure, absolutely. You know, I want somebody to look at me and go, hey, at least he tried to do something yeah, for absolutely. this. Absolutely. I, I but, agree. I know what you're talking about. But, uh, the point is that we're, we're here trying to, uh, this is... Intended to be a uh, community building show. Let's let's talk about some events and whatnot. Sure. And I think we've done that today. Oh, I think so. I think I so. think we have. And it's been a pleasure having you here and chatting. Um, and thank you for coming on a uh, Friday. I'm sure uh, you'd rather be here playing uh, Tetris than, than in the office. In the office. Yes, but sir. either way, uh, thank you for coming out to my home and uh, you know staring at a Tetris screen uh, screen and. Uh, talking into a little microphone. Hey, it's a great way to start the day. And uh, I hope, I uh, for everybody watching, thank you very much for watching. And uh, because gaming matters and because people matter, that's why we do this. So thank you, Brandon Johannes, president of the Chamber of Commerce. I am uh, Josh Withino, also known as Ninja of Sorts. And uh, yeah, you have a good day.